If you just opened your Etsy shop to start your print-on-demand business and you're ready to sync your Etsy shop account with your print-on-demand platform, you're in the right place because that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video. All right, so you have your Etsy shop all set up and you're ready to integrate your shop with your print-on-demand platform. We're gonna start with Printify and then we'll look at how to do this for Printful. Printify has a help page on setting up the Etsy integration, but hopefully you don't need that because you're about to watch this video. But I will link to this page in the description in case you need it. The first thing you're going to need is a Printify account. Now, if you already have a Printify account because you sell on another platform, then you're good to go. Just log into your account. Once you've created your account, go to the top right portion of any page in Printify, select the store settings here, and go to manage my stores. Once you're on that page, select the add new store button, and then select the connect button for Etsy. This should take you directly to Etsy, to a page that says an application would like to connect to your account. You wanna make sure you're signed into the correct Etsy account if you have more than one before you proceed, but assuming you are, you can scroll down and select allow access. And that should take you back to Printify and you should receive this pop-up message indicating success that you've connected your store to your Printify account. Now you can close that message and then go back to your Manage My Stores page and you should now see the store that you just connected. Go to the settings gear on next to that store and edit the name of your store. This won't affect your Etsy shop at all, it just helps you stay organized in your Printify account, especially if you have more than one Etsy shop. Click save after you edit the store and it will save. There are a few other settings to be aware of here. Your ship from address is an important setting. The default is the Printify default. And that just means that the return address on the shipping labels for your orders will include the location of the fulfillment center where your product was made. If you want the return address to be an address that you use for your business, you can select custom address and add it here. You can also see a label example. Even if you have it set to the default return address of the print provider, your business name will still appear on the return address. Next, we have the preferences section for your Etsy shop settings. Now I have a whole separate video about your shop settings for Printify, and I'll link to that in the right corner of this video, as well as in the description, so that we don't have to go all the way through that right now. So once you've got your shop settings completed, you can go to the My Products page and start to create your products. Now, if you use Printful as your print-on-demand provider, the process of syncing to your Etsy shop is very similar. Once you've created your Printful account, come to your Stores page and select the plus button option here to add a store. Now, if you already have a Printful account with other stores, you will see them above and then just simply select this, add an additional platform. That will take you to this page to select the platform that you want to connect. So find Etsy on this page and click on Learn More. And it will take you to this page so that you can click on Connect Etsy Store and that will take you to this page. Now Printful has built in some instructions here, including a video to help you connect your Etsy account to your Printful account, so this should be fairly easy for us. And if we scroll down, you'll see step one is to do something very similar as we did with Printify. Click the button to connect to Etsy, and it will take us to the exact same page to authorize the connection to our Etsy account, verify you're logged into the correct Etsy account, and scroll down and hit allow access. And once you allow access, it should take you back to a page now to begin adding products to your store. If you use Gelato as your print-on-demand platform, there is also a very simple process. After you've created your Gelato account, simply come to your stores page on the left navigation, and then look for the Etsy logo and click on connect. It will take you to the same page once again to confirm that you want to allow access to Gelato, so simply click on allow access. And this should take you back to your Gelato account and list your new Etsy shop alongside any other shops that you have already connected to your Gelato account. And from there, you can use the Add Product button to start adding products to your store. And lastly, if Guten is the print-on-demand platform of choice for you, after creating your Guten account, the process of connecting your store will work very similarly. When logged into your account, simply come to the Stores icon in the left navigation and then click on the Connect New Store button. In the pop-up, select the Etsy logo, and enter your store name. Then click on Connect Store. And once again, we're back on the same page to allow access to the Guten application. And that should bring you back to your Guten account with a message indicating your store is now connected. So you can now proceed to create new products and sync them to your shop. If you ever find that you're having trouble with an integration for one of the print-on-demand platforms, you can always disconnect the integration from your Etsy shop and then reconnect. 
To do this in your Etsy shop manager, find the integrations option in the left navigation and then click on the manage tab. Here you will find all of the applications that have an integration active with your Etsy shop and simply use the disconnect option to remove. Once you've done that, repeat the original process to connect your Etsy shop to the print on demand platform and you should have reestablished the integration. And that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, let me know in the comments. If you still have questions about integration, let me know that as well in the comments. I'd appreciate it if you could hit that like button if you did find the video helpful and subscribe to the POD Insights channel to get notified of additional new videos when they come out. Thanks everybody. See you next time.